my fellow comic book collectors. It's Alan, the comic collector geek, and I'm joined with my good friend, uh, Mark Olroyd, and um, we are the Price Variants. And this week, we are looking at the very last, this will be the very last Silver Age uh, hottest comics of the week, where we're looking at heritage auction sales for Silver Age books and seeing how well they performed. Uh, there's a bit of a theme with my section, and Mark's video, which you got to check out, will have some pretty cool books on it. So this this will be a fun one. Um, I, I I was trying to not torture Mark uh, in terms of the, the 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 comics I chose for his uh, his part of it, but what there are a few usual spe- suspects on this list uh, that Mark loves, and um, I I couldn't I couldn't end the year without having these books on for Mark. You know, Mark would be very sad. And we've got to make sure Mark is happy. So um, this is all about no, Mark. I already, Mark happy. I already know we're going to see <laughs> one or Amazing Fantasy 15, if not both, anyway. What? Do you, but you love those books. You love those books. Okay. So, yeah. So um, what's the very first book we have, Mark? Right. Okay. Let's share my screen. And the first book is a great one. Um, there we go. It's uh, Amazing Spider-Man forty-one, I believe. Yeah, this uh, this one was kind of like a bit of a hot book because of the the trailer for the um, Spider-Man movie, uh, not the Spider-Man Craven movie. Craven. Craven. Yeah. Um, and you know, this is the first appearance of the Rhino. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, actually, again, I think this is down. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Uh, 408 seems a little little cheap that's, for that, 60. That seems, that seems low to me as well. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, for 60, first appearance of the Rhino. 408. Yeah. So I had, seems a, like a good price. I had a copy of this that I bought. Okay. I went to Guy's house to buy some comics. And mm-hmm. he, I bought, I can't remember what was I was buying from him. And he basically said, I've got some other comics if you're interested. And he brought this box down. Sitting on top of the box was this. And I, paid, oh, okay. so I, 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 it was a, no, about a four o three five four o I think. Uh, so I paid him, paid him for it under under fair market value, and mm-hmm. I took it to the first London Comic Mart I went to. Okay. Uh, with my with my um, with my guy, Grey Man, who does all my lifting for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he said, um, and I said, he, he was he really wanted this comic. He wanted the Rhino, so I mm-hmm. he, he he took my copy of the Rhino, the first okay. of the Rhino, in exchange for three London Comic Mart shows assistance. So yeah. Oh wow! So you get slave labor for comics. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> so I got three three days of the Grey Man for my copy of. Uh, of amazing spider-man six point well depending on the value of the book you got to work them hard you got to work them really hard get all that like you know really well, you know down i think this is down uh right. yeah let's have a look a six oh it is down oh there's like a little mountain there and then this is not part of the mountain no <laughs> Uh, the covid uh, bump it, it's, okay it's bumping along around this sort of value Alan. yeah or 408 no that's lower so that's 460 so this is coming down this is down here somewhere so the fair market value is supposedly like 483 is yeah. it yeah or uh, 530 what's worrying alan is this is another one that has now gone below the pre-covid price yeah so the covid pre-covid price was what 450 and this is just sold for 408. Wow. Somebody got a major steal on this one. Like to me, that's just such a great deal for such like you know, we know the character's coming. Yeah. We he's a like a, he's like a blue chip character. It's not like you know the rhino is like some non major character, early Spider-Man character. Yeah. Um and also I think this has like early um Mary Jane appearance in it. You know, like one of those cameo kind of things in it as well. Yeah. Um, does it say? I'm just having a look. I know 43 is her first appearance, and that's another Rhino one. No, it just uh, no, it doesn't say anything about uh, Mary Jane. 
Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure, but okay. So um that's, that's just a, a really cool. nice copy for four hundred and eight dollars, isn't it? I know somebody got a steal on this. You can see a few spine ticks along that yeah, side there, but it's a six hour. That is a steal. Yeah. Absolutely. So um yeah, somebody just got a steal on it. Um again with the so movie coming go, out. You have to go back to set early, early 2020 to get that price low than that. So, you know, what I think it is is that um you know the the floor hasn't been reached yet. No. <laughs> I think I think people are uh they're they're nervous, right? You know, when when things go up and then they drop uh suddenly, uh people get nervous and they start pulling out their money. Well, I'll and tell you what I think is happening. Um, I don't know if you you know the guy on uh, he's a, got a YouTube channel, uh, Dave the Comic Book Investments. Oh yes, of course. Well, did you see his video? He's having to sell up all his personal collection because of the because he's uh, in order to support his business. Did you see that? Oh, really? Yeah. No. So, this is oh. so what's happening is people like him. I've, mm -hmm. uh, because of the last 18 months of declining, he, he's lost all the, all the money he made during uh, the COVID. He's lost. It's a peak. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, he's been buying books at 10,000 and selling them at 7,000. Um, yeah. You, yeah. You can't do that for long. Sell his personal collection to keep his business afloat. Um, and this is the worst time to be selling. And this is the worst time. This is like a fire sale. So he has got umpteen copies of Hulk 181. Now, somebody like that. Pushing out those copies into the market is what's driving. It's going to kill the market. <laughs> going to kill the market. So this is what's happening. This is why the comics are going down below the uh, the pre-COVID peak because it's people like um, Dave are having to sell. Um, yeah. Wow. Time. Yeah. So what's the what's the census on this one? Um, I was like knowing the census. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to guess about three or four thousand. Uh, That's yeah. what I would guess too. Yeah. Four thousand. Yeah, usually. So a fairly common book, uh, yeah. um, but um, you know there's enough Spider-Man fans out there that would want this book. That you know, um, so yeah. So uh, that's pretty sad. Like I was wondering what was happening because I was seeing like I you know I collect Golden Age more. Um, I was seeing a lot of really rare books coming from t to sale. Like you just yeah. never see these books, and it's like it is the weirdest thing. And I think yeah. maybe it's just the the market plus the economy in general go and watch his video. Uh, yeah i think you've interviewed him haven't you? you had a chat with him. yeah he's been on my channel once yeah um go and watch his video it's very depressing um and <laughs> it's very depressing well he keeps a decent face on it but i mean he's him and his brother have built up that business over a number of years and to find them having to sell their personal collection to support it is is tough uh, yeah no it's brutal and if, if that's happening to him there'll be a whole load of other other people um trading. you know the funny thing is i was trying to buy a book from him and he didn't respond <laughs> <laughs> okay. he could i could have saved him but he didn't want to be saved he didn't want to be saved okay <laughs> so by alan right okay let's move on to number two uh this is spider-man 50. nice classic cover um is there anything special about this one um there's something special about it, and I, I think somebody in the UK might, there we go. might recognize it. UK price variants. Mm -hmm. Very nice. A 6.5. Very clean looking. Mm -hmm. There's a kingpin. And yep. Classic. Classic Ramita cover. Classic Ramita cover. Fantastic cover. Uh, right. Okay. Let's see how this did. So a six, five for seven twenty. That sounds low. Even <laughs> it's very low, even for a UK price variant, um, which Americans don't appreciate. This will be, this will be much, much rarer than the American one. Yeah. Actually, I want to, if, if you can, can you, can you go to the CGC census on this one? Uh, oh yes, probably. Hang on. You're going to have to bear with me a second though. Okay, so what we do is we just go to CGC and then Census. You can you can see like this is what something I always do um, like when because you, it, like um, Go Collect doesn't show the um, the price the price variance like it doesn't break it out for the UK ones. Oh, it wants me to log in first. 
Yeah, I always hate that. So you can show the password to everybody and we can all use your... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you have to be quite quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 1967, yeah? Oh, no, that's for... Uh, it should, which one is it? should it? be there somewhere. Yeah, uh, 2020, 1968. It should be um, like a 61 issue, or is it 61? No, so it's, a, it's issue 50, isn't it? So it's or 62. Like uh, from that, I mean that um, era, right? The, I mean the, when the Amazing Spider-Man came out, sixty-seven, and this one came out in sixty-seven. But I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. there are um, U.S. variants, seven thousand four hundred thirty-nine. Wow, seven thousand! That is so insane. Uh, U.K. variants, one hundred sixty-eight. So yeah. That's 6.5. There are only 15 of those uh, UK variants. The one in 70 are uh, and the six UK. 571. So there are 571 US 6.5s and 15 UK ones. Yeah, so it's much rarer. Oh, way rarer, yeah. But that does not seem to uh, matter for the market. <laughs> no, because... which is crazy. Because uh -huh. it should be about rarity. Um, I mean, produced on the same printing presses at the same time, on the same paper. And potentially even earlier, but yeah. Yeah, potentially first. Um, let's have a look. What's 6.5? I can't believe that there's 7,000 on the census. That's that's really high. Even for the Silver Age, that's high. Yeah. There that's almost... That's almost like a Bronze Age level of a census. This is ridiculously low. Right. Yeah. The US version, the US version is 1550 This went for $900 less because it is a UK version. That is madness. It is 10 times rarer. No, 20 times, 20 or 30 times rarer. And it's going yeah. for a ridiculously low amount. I thought you would like this one. No, so I'm very I mean. annoyed. <laughs> because yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's just crazy. And actually, this one, even though it's dropped, it's still not back down to oh, no, uh, the pre-COVID. Uh, Pre-COVID yeah. way down here. So, uh, yeah, it's way up. It's like almost double. Not for the um, UK one, though. Right. Not for the UK one. So if you want to get a bit of a steal, get All the right. UK one. So well, the next one on the list is to kind of to re-emphasize that idea. And this is the American edition and the lower grade. So this is uh, a lower grade, a 5.0 for about the same price. Almost the same price. So Isn't I, that funny? So let's... 5.0. Uh, so click on the CGC, yeah. And I suspect that's gone down. That's a low price as well. Yeah. So, so the, the, the so that six something sale that is that right down here is the lowest lowest sale for ages. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a good deal as well. But I would say the six point the UK six point five. So if you had the choice between those two, Alan, I pick the UK one every day. I pick every the UK one. Yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, just because the market's dumb doesn't mean I have to be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no i mean why would you pick something where there's you know there's another 650 around in the world or one where there's only 15 around in the world yeah like the only like the only reason i would pick the u.s one over like some foreign one is if 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 the foreign one came out years later or you know was like a like a true reprint kind of level where it's not you know came you know but these came out at the exact same time so um you know it to me it's not a reprint it's not um they're identical you know, it's, it's, it's the fact yeah that they use the price by price on it on the print. yeah so i i just think that's you know it's um i I'm, I'm actually planning on recording a video where i'm talking about new frontiers of collecting uh where i think there's like these buying opportunities uk price variants like i've spoken about it many times i think it's just a, a frontier that needs to be explored because uh so much opportunity there agreed yeah 
Right, let's move on to uh, number four. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one comes with an explanation. Okay, let's have the explanation then. Okay, so last, last time we did this show, we both missed... We both missed. I'd like to like share the responsibility because that's the way it should be. Um, <laughs> where we both missed that it was a Golden Act record reprint. Now, just to make us feel a little bit better, the people that bought the Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man number one, Golden Record reprint, didn't notice either. Okay? So they paid roughly 10 times the going rate for the Golden Record reprint. Now, we all sort of were pricing it based on uh, what Amazing Spider-Man number one would go for. And it looked, oh, like a steal. It looked like such a great price. But when you realize that it's the reprint, you, you know, the person way overpaid. And there was probably two people bidding it up that both made the same mistake. So... Yeah. So yeah, I just think that's a funny one. So this is like me. Did, my any, of your, did any of your viewers spot it? Yes, they all spotted it, and I, I said yes, I'm an idiot. I, I made the mistake. Um, but you know why I made the mistake? Because I, like, I saw the price. I didn't like, you know, I didn't clue in, right? You know what I mean? Like, you see yeah. the price. It looks like what it in line with what Amazing Spider-Man number one would go for. You know. It wasn't in line with what a golden record reprint would go for. So I just didn't clue in. I didn't, you know, it just didn't make sense. Why would a golden record reprint go for such a crazy price? Okay. So this isn't a reprint, presumably. This is the original. No, no, it's the original. This is the original. Um, second appearance of Spider-Man, first appearance. Oh, and just quickly, for people that want to be able to tell, it will actually say on the slab that it is the golden record reprint. And the other thing that's a thing that makes it obvious is the 12 cents. If it if it has the 12 cents on it, it's the original. If it doesn't have any, like there's no price on the golden record reprints. So that's that wouldn't be there. Right. We should have spotted it, shouldn't we? Right. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's I, my point. You know, I just trusted you when you've told me it was an, an original. Yeah. 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 Right. OK. 5,520. That sounds OK, Alan. Yeah, not too bad. Um from what I can think of. Um uh, we'll see. We'll see. Did it did Amazing Spider-Man number one uh have a good year at the end of the year? This is the last time we'll be looking at it, so uh let's see. Let's wait uh, there it is. People at Go Collect must think I'm demented the number of times I've had to bring this up on Go Collect. <laughs> it's your favorite book. So, yeah. <laughs> so, 2 0. -oh. There we go. 2 0. -oh. Oh, Alan, it's not looking good. Oh, no. Oh, I'm afraid, Alan, it's down again. But it's still way, I think it's still above pre COVID stuff. So, that's a good sign. It, it, um, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. It's, I'd say it's actually way above that trend line. I actually would say it has room to go down, but... Um, oh, it definitely has room, for, room to go further down, yeah. But it's not... Um, so what what was the... What's the what's the current kind of pricing for this book? What do you mean? What's the current pricing? Well, what was the last sale before this Heritage Auction sale? 8,000. Oh, so it's way down from the even the that sale. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. And that was an eBay sale. Yeah. You're better selling on eBay than you are selling on Heritage by the looks of this. Mm. The last Heritage sale uh was, was seven thousand. So this is heading down again. This is still going down. Well, as I said, I think it has room to correct. And there's like four thousand seven hundred of these on the census. So you see, this is my problem with this comic, uh, and with the amazing fantasy, is there's a lot of them. And as we were discussing mm -hmm. it, you know, when the market gets tight, when the market's difficult and people are forced into selling their comics, there's so many of these it, that they just flood the market who are going to be putting them on the market and bringing the price down. Well, that's why I was always paranoid about Hulk 181. Yeah, 181. Because I know people that have like 50 that. copies of it. Yeah, there's 15,000 of the things, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's. But um, maybe a good time to, you know, 
uh, let it go down a bit more and pick one up. <laughs> it's a good time to right. Okay. Last one is your favorite book of the of the week. Oh, oh we could have to end the year on Alan's show with we couldn't get, end it with anything else. Mm -hmm. Alan's favorite book. Uh, Actually, this one's a really nice copy too. It's it is uh, restored. It's a C one, which is amateur restoration. Uh, two point five restored, so it's going to the price is going to be way down because of the restoration. Um, mm -hmm. um, Usually, the restoration in these low grades, yeah, maybe yeah. get about eighty percent of the value. Sounds, Ten thousand sounds pretty good, Alan. Yeah, I would say so. Now, there's a trick you can do. Okay, we'll 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 check what the blue label goes for, and then I'll show you a little trick we can do. So I'll check blue label first. Yeah. Uh, what grade was it? 2.5. 2.5. Two 2.5. Okay, yeah. So it's uh, so 2.5 is 27,000. 27,000. Well, this is about... 24. So let's say 24,000. This was actually, this is low, Ben, actually, even for restored maybe. Uh, and restored, what were you going to say? Were you going to say half? Usually it's like in these lower grades, it's about 60 to 80%. Oh, it's way lower than that. It's less than half. Yeah, yeah. It's less than half. So let's see restored. 2.5. That's, uh, that's, that's about right. Oh, oh, oh. No, it isn't. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> No. Okay, so what was okay? The most recent sale was what? So the one before that went to twenty one. That can't. Be that's right. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's more in line with what I was saying. You know, so twenty seven. If you multiply that by um, like point six, right? It got a deal here. Yeah. Because the last one of these sold for twenty one thousand in September, and this is sold for ten thousand in December. Yeah, somebody got a major deal on this one. And one went for 32000 in September 21. For restored, which is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that has come down to... Uh, Actually, like, still a, still above pre-COVID. No, pre-COVID was uh, 11. Oh, really? So it's below pre-COVID numbers? Just below, yeah. Um, But... Wait, 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 when is that sale, that uh, pre-COVID one? June 2020. Okay, so th there's, a, it would have to almost go earlier than that. Because um, there was um, the 3.65. When, when was the big 3.5 um, sale? That was the, the, the big, uh, you know, $3.5 million sale. Or 3.6 million, whatever it was. Oh, it was in... It was around that sort of time, wasn't it? September 2021. I thought it was earlier than that. But, like, uh, I thought it was earlier in the market for the Amazing Fantasy kind of shot up before even COVID. Yeah. But um, yeah, so this one's a bit of a mess. <laughs> a bit of a mess. It's still not good news if you own a, an Amazing Spider-Man 1 or an Amazing Fantasy 15. Um, I but would... if you love this book, this it's... is a great, this is great news. Well, great yeah. news, but I'd, I'd still wait a bit because the, the the you know the most recent sales are low sale are the lowest sales, so it hasn't stopped falling yet. Yeah. Who knows where it's going to go? Yeah, it's kind of a shame to see it uh, <laughs> drop this much. Okay, so there was a bit of a Spider-Man theme there, and um, you know I always like I consider Spider-Man to be Marvel's most popular character. Um, and to see it performing or not performing well um, is kind of sad. So um, not a good year, 2023, for Marvel collectors. But um, let's hope the new year, when when we do this list in the new year, it looks a little bit more promising. I'm not I'm not holding out much hope, but um, hopefully, my, hopefully it is my better. My prediction, Alan, is it's going to get worse for three to four months um at start of the year i i actually go longer than that i'd say maybe even like six seven months okay. like because 
Yeah. Uh, the economy still hasn't sorted itself out yet. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. You know, <laughs> with dealers dumping books to support their businesses, that's just going to drive. That's not a good sign. A good sign. Um, I, I experienced the same thing back in the 90s. You know, um, you know, it was boom bust kind of experience, right? Like, uh, I remember going into comic shops and they were going out of business and they would fire sale everything. So basically, um, they were selling uh, like 10 cents on the dollar. Yeah. Okay. And then the other thing that they were doing was, you know, if they didn't sell out on that 10 cents at the dollar, they were taking whole long boxes and they could be all keys. They could be like big books. And they were just selling those like whatever, whatever, you know, like hundred bucks, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like just almost like for nothing. Um, it is what happens. You know, people want to get out of the market. They just buy or sell it all. So um, good time to be a collector though. Yeah. Yeah. But we've been saying that for about uh, 18 months now. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> hopefully, you know, we'll say it probably for another year. <laughs> right. Okay. Bye. Check out the next part, which will be a little bit more variety on Mark's channel. It'll be a little different. Okay. Cheers, guys.